Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you three journals that will be available in my shop, but I wanted to kind of give you some inspiration in the process of me sharing with you these journals that I've made. I'm using the Calico Collage Digital Journal Kit, Nature's Glory, and she has these beautiful postcard like images or journal cards that are part of the kit and I decided to make those the focus on the cover of my journal. These are approximately a what is this one two three four five by one two three four five six seven almost seven and a half inches five by seven and a half inch soft journal so it's not a hard cover. The cover is a watercolor paper that has a dictionary that has been glued and sewed on top. And I've used Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist to give some great color. This piece is a piece of canvas from Canvas Court Brands. And I've gone around the edge with a paintbrush. So basically just kind of touched like that after dipping it into some Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. So I got that red. And then I sewed the little card, the journal card on top. I've added a little bit of washi tape. This was some mesh ribbon that my best friend gave to me and I like that I could put it on here and it smooshes flat but yet it has dimension so it looks really cool and that's a prima flower. So on the inside I've sprayed with some tattered angels. This is one of the pages out of Calico Collage Nature's Glory. And then I've used one of the actual postcards from the kit. This is a dictionary page that I've placed a pocket. This stamp over here is from Brutus Monroe, and it's part of the Botanical Banners. If you're interested in that, please check out my description box for a link, because I do get a small commission if you buy that. Here is just a journaling card. I think I picked this up years ago from, like, Big Lots, possibly. Here's a little uh, flag that I made for the page. And I think I need to put a rhinestone in the center. I forgot to put one on there. When you're making several of these, sometimes you forget. So we'll put a little... Oh, that one didn't get the sticky. Okay, let's do this again. All right, this one has the sticky. There we go. And then this is just a little note that came out of one of those little packs of little pretty papers. Prima flower again. Here's a map that is from Oklahoma. I added a little piece of paper on the back with some washing. This is a hummingbird stamp. All of my journals from now on are going to have a bird somewhere in the journal. Some are going to be very obvious. Some may be very subtle. So be looking for that. Graph paper with tattered angels on top with a stencil. The stamp, again, from Brutus Monroe. This is an envelope I made using an old book page. And then I painted it with acrylic paint and used a stencil. Here's just a little index card to go inside with a scrap piece of paper to make it pretty. Another piece of paper that I added a scrap to that can be written on and used as a pocket. One of my mop-up pages. Another image from Calico Collage. Stamping again. This is out of an old planner. My brother picked up a bunch of things from an auction and this was in that auction. It was written on on the other side. And I just put another sheet of paper over the top of it so people can write here. You could add a photo underneath. Scrapbook paper or designer paper. An old recipe card. I joined this page. I wanted it to have a deeper pocket on it. So I used a joining stitch on my sewing machine and added a piece of paper. Folds out. Little hummingbird again. Some more stamping. I use some Italian paper for the butterflies in the center. You know, if there's things that you're seeing in here you want a little bit more detail on, let me know. You can also join the Friendly Junk Journal people, and I have live videos where I share and chat, so we have more time to kind of share, because a lot of people want to get straight to the point here on YouTube. This is a pocket that I made by adding a junior legal page and then sewing it down and then just a journaling card that I popped inside. Put the little piece of ribbon so it can be pulled out. Stamping again. More of the Calico Collage image. Another pocket with a coin envelope. 
aspire to be amazing is a phrase that I've said a lot. I haven't said it here recently, but I'm going to start doing it again. Another journal card with a belly band. And here is a Calico Collage. This is a freebie. It's a little mason jar. Another little journaling card. So that's the first one, and I'll just quickly go through the others. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends so that others can see it as well. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel because I share lots of things. I try to have a couple of videos a week, but always have a video on Saturday that shows something, whether it be something like a tutorial or it's a flip through of a journal or a share. Another calico collage. I love how this mop-up paper turned out. What are you looking on today? Are you enjoying the time to Get ready for the holiday season coming up. That's one thing that I'm doing is trying to get some things ready so that I'll have some Christmas gifts and items available in my shop and personally to be able to give to friends. So these are a great idea to make something like this for a friend or family member so that they can have a journal of their own that you made. Trying to flip through this really fast. This one says, today is a perfect day to start living your dreams. The other one said, friendship. I forgot to focus on that. And I'll have close-up photos at the end as well. You can also go to my blog, lindaisrael.com, and see more photos that will be close-ups of the pages for those that don't want to wait for the video to hold that screen for you. Another one of the envelopes. What is your favorite designs? What do you like the most? Do you like flowers and lace and pretty images like that? Are you into things like unicorns and dragons? Love to know what you like, like butterflies. Hopefully it kind of gave you some ideas of things that you can use in a junk journal or if you're inspired to purchase one of mine, please check out the link the description box to get the link for my shop. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, let's see, Tumblr, and I don't know, most of the social medias out there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Aspire to be amazing. Bye.